<laughs> ben, uh, congratulations on the purchase of your new home. Uh, classic potential Cape style house that could use some uh, minor details, I think, to make it more classic and more timeless. Uh, the basic massing and scale, I think, is fine. Some of the things that are way off are the starting off with the landscaping, the front of the house, the bushes are way overgrown and there's no symmetry, symmetry or any sense of organization to the facade. So I would suggest removing the yew bushes and plant more small scale plant material with perhaps some hollies anchored on either end of the corners of the house. I would remove the stone walls that are just placed nearly willy along the mudroom entrance. I would uh, take the garage door and curve the entry to the garage and put new carriage house doors that are curvilinear in nature, do a much larger, a much larger lantern in the piece of the garage that projects over the garage and remove the onion door. I'd remove the dog door in the garage facade and I would uh, add cobblestone edging to the driveway and recoat the driveway so it looks a little more finished. I think that would help a long way. The existing uh, coach house uh, light I think is fine on the, on, the, on the lantern and the pole but that the pole itself should be more simple and uh, if you can afford it get a larger scale lantern perhaps from Lamplighter Corner in Edgartown uh, and then two new light fixtures on either side of the front door. I might suggest you paint the body of the house what, excuse me, white and have Essex green shutters and dark uh, green front door as well as the secondary uh, mudroom entrance. So all these little details I think will add up and really help a lot. I'd also suggest painting the, uh, the chimney white with a black top. That will help accentuate it on the roof plane itself. And then um, maybe even a weather vane on the cupola. You might want to take the cupola and, and move it further forward so it is more uh, visible from the garage uh, wing when you pull up to the garage. Make it feel part of that overall ensemble rather than set way back into the roof. So these are all the kinds of things that you as a do-it-yourselfer should be able to do quite easily. I think that the end result will having a much more crisper, detailed house is certainly more timeless in its appeal. Thanks so much for the question, and keep me posted on the progress. Thanks again. And for that, I will sign your book. Keep me proud. Keep me posted. How's that?